What's going on, you guys? Um, I've got about 10 minutes. I just wanted to jump on live and talk about cuticle application. Um, I find this really important, especially with a lot of beginners out there that are learning how to work around the cuticles. I think if you really understand the proper consistency and you allow the proper self-leveling aspects of the acrylic to work for you, then you're gonna have really, really good results. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so this is really specific. Um, one of the things that we really have to focus on is good consistency. Sorry, let me get this balance. And the consistency that you wanna be able to work with is something like this. If I submerse my brush, I want to be able to pick up a bead that is going to dissolve. Like you can see how everything is dissolving quite fast. I don't want to pick up a bead where I'm pulling off liquid on both sides of my brush and then holding the brush in the surface of the powder like this. What that is going to do is going to leave. You can see how dry that is. Right? We, don't, we don't want that. We don't want to work with a bead that's going to be too dry. Just get a little bit more liquid. Okay, so again, if you submerse your brush, okay, you'll notice that you want to be able, I'll bring this up close so you can see, but I want to be able just to tap. Right? I don't want to do this. I don't want to pull, pull, and, or do this. I just want to be able to like right here in the belly, back belly of the brush, just lightly tap it. And then what I want to be able to do is bounce at an angle. So bounce at an angle. And then you're going to notice that you're going to get a really, really nice bead on one side of the brush. This is going to allow you to set it down so that it releases without sticking. Okay, so what we want to be able to do is we want to be able to work around the perimeter. And, and again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set this up here. I'll leave the plastic on so you can see. But the tip of the brush is going to act right as a barrier between the cuticle area. So if I set the tip of the brush down, you can see the finger is pointed down, but my brush is straight. So if I was to turn the finger straight, you can see the angle that it's at. If I turn the finger down, same angle, except my brush is going to be in this position right here. You see that? Now what I want to be able to do is I'm working around the perimeter of the nail. When I set this down, I want to be able to walk by lightly touching around the perimeter. So I want to try to bring it. It's not just around this area right here. You have to think if I mark a point here and I mark a point here on this side, that's the complete perimeter that you're going to be working around. So if you have the right self-leveling nature of the acrylic, you're going to notice that if I submerse my brush, I get a nice self-leveling bead, and then I wait one, two, three, and around the four count I release, I'll be able to use the tip and lightly just kind of poke around the perimeter to those points. So from that black dot to that black dot, you can see that I'm just lightly touching. Now this area right here, look, I mean, you can guide it down. I can lightly start to brush using the very, very tip of my brush, right? Just lightly kind of brush through. And as the product starts to dry, everything is really going to really level into perfection. You're going to notice that I'm actually able to get a really, really great overlay by just brushing this through. But you'll notice that the perimeter of the nail from that black dot to this black dot is going to be completely sealed. So when you're looking at it from the side profile, right, it, it naturally tucks down. It naturally flows down 
into those areas without creating a ledge. That is how you're going to apply product, right? And, and again, it's just this section I'm really talking about. If we were building length, it doesn't matter if you're gluing a tip on or you're extending a tip. When you're walking around the perimeter, you have to be able to walk around with that consistency, that angle, using the tip of the brush and allowing it to self-level as it starts to run this way, okay? I hope that helps. Just a quick video, just to get you guys dialed in. Um, if you guys have any questions, hit me up. I hope this helps all of you guys that are learning to work with acrylic on a much higher level. I really appreciate you, your time. I'll see you soon. Thanks a million. Peace.